applause meter. You are the it was certainly unforgettable. Well, I won't hold you to it. But are you sure you don't want to be my lawfully wedded wife? Okay. Never thought that I could kill you. But you were wonderful. So, um, you want to go on to the reception now, or should we stay here and hide a little? <sighs> and have my picture taken and be kissed by every man in the place. Okay, but you will. Okay. But I won't like it. My wife, one tough cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, where the heck have you two been hiding, huh? Well, come on, the limo's here. We got a reception to go to. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh. Back so soon. Hello. Did everybody behave, you cowboy? Everybody but me. I haven't gotten them into their good clothes yet. That's okay. Their good clothes only look good for about ten minutes. I didn't have a mask. It's just bows. Yeah, but those bows were very entertaining. I see you're riding a horse. Well, was it nice? Very. Uh, yeah, the preacher liked to have a heart attack. <laughs> well, was it a grand wedding like yours? Oh, they did it their own way. Not so many people invited to the church. Of course, it didn't stop some of them from coming. I like, I like Guess who just kids. showed up like he did last like night? Six. Ricardo? You know, Eden, I'm not sure we should be taking him to the reception. That's good. Well, I am. Besides, it won't matter anyway. I'm sure Rick and Sandra have gone along the merry way by now. Rick and who? We can't keep them out. Why not? Oh, don't let him fool you. He loves letting the paparazzi see how the Capwells really live. Well, it does bring business into the club, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, that wedding was so beautiful. It was something, wasn't it? I kept thinking of Jacques and Miranda and the hurricane. <laughs> Who? It's from Love is the Sweetest Surrender. Emily, you are such a fan. <laughs> uh, how big is the print? I'll have to give it a thorough read, find out how the hero wins the fair lady. <laughs> you don't always need a hurricane, do you? Oh, at least. Oh, let's get a drink. You don't think we're pushing our luck? Well, uh, what do you think luck is for, huh? Besides, I'm family and you are a devoted family friend. I am. I really am. These people aren't devoted to anyone. So what do you care? You've got me. Tell me, how far do you think you can stretch a sympathy vote? And what kind of, what, what the hell kind of way is up at all? I have a right to go anywhere I'm asked to. You know, I thought we settled this at church. I mean, at least your sister has some manners. I mean, what about the TV crew outside? Oh, were they invited? Believe me, Kelly, uh, I don't want your sympathy or your hors d'oeuvres. I didn't so much mean you. Well, we gave you a lot better treatment when you were at our place. I mean, at least we fed you and paid you. Excuse me? Is there a problem? No, Mr. Capwell. Hello. Congratulations. Quite Thank a ceremony. You. I am Rick. Rick Castillo. We didn't get a chance to meet last night. I'm Cruz's no. brother. How do you do? Good. Good. This is Sandra. No, Sandra, we've met. Yeah. Um, your daughter was trying to coax us away from the door. I am waiting for Cruz and Eden, and obviously I don't know anybody else here. Oh, well then why don't I show you to her? Oh, oh great. I appreciate that. Everybody, this is uh, Rick Castillo. This is my son-in-law, his brother, and Sandra Mills. How do you do? Hello. It's Emily and Greg, and Hi. Uh, Greg's mother, Megan. Thanks, Greg. Megan Richardson, the novelist. Megan Richardson, yes, I am. I'm very honored. Your work is very popular in France. Rick has been living in Paris. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I wish the sales were better there. Well, you know, <laughs> the French people don't actually buy books. They borrow and argue about them. So, matter of fact, I was given your first book by a friend of mine, Emile Villar. Oh, really? You knew Emil? Met for coffee every morning. Didn't he die? Like, years ago? Well, I was too young to really appreciate him. Daddy, here's your chance to do your stuff. What stuff? 
Oh, goody, I get to change you. It's your reward for being such a good boy today. Oh, I must be a lucky guy after all. Come on, Chipper. Let's go. I'm going to show you the, the new suspenders we got you. Not a very long mourning period for someone who lost a wife. What? Well, I don't know how he met Sandra, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. Eden, dear, I, I don't think I'm going to go. Keeping up with those two youngsters all afternoon has really made me feel my age. Rick probably won't even be there. Eden, I just couldn't face your parents. Even if he is, no one will mind. I'm sorry. It's how I am. I've spent too many years being mortified. It's something I just don't want to relive. I understand. But, you know, you and Cruz hold him in a much higher conduct than I do. He did nothing to embarrass anybody at the wedding except to bring Sonder, which was a mistake, and he didn't know. And if he did know, he wouldn't even be in the same room with her. Now, with or without her, Cruz seems to fly off the handle every time he sees his brother anyway, which, if you ask me, is a little extreme. And I feel responsible. Oh, no. How could you possibly be? Because he's doing it for me. And I don't blame Rick for what happened with Adriana. Well, I find it a little difficult to believe that he didn't suspect something. I know. But what if he didn't? All I know is that he took very good care of our daughter for five months. And I don't feel it's fair to start treating him like some sort of a leper. I want our daughter to know that during those five months she wasn't abused. She was loved and protected by people who cared for her. Eden, this goes back a long time before you ever knew Cruz. When Rafael... When my husband left and Cruz had to step into his shoes, of course Ricardo resented it. And Cruz resented having to do it. Well, then maybe he's the one I need to square things with. Is he back in Mexico? I don't know. And I don't care to find out. Yeah, believe me. No good can come from this. There they are. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. What took you so long, huh? I'm so glad to have a daughter-in-law who's not a blonde. <laughs> what a handsome bridegroom you made. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on Grace. I know that. <laughs> the wedding was really beautiful. I mean, I know you guys will have a wonderful life together. You made me cry because I was afraid we were going to have to do it again next month. Oh, is this supposed to be the line? Because uh, if it is, I'm not going to congratulate you. I'm <laughs> sick of the two of you. Guys. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, oh, it was one hell of a ceremony, I'll tell you that. What was that that just went by? Either the snails or the champagne. Excuse me. Save me one, would you? You got it. <laughs> you still talking about the food and kiss me? Congratulations. You did it. Well, we couldn't have done it without you. You know that. Can I have one of those? My old sorority sister, you make a beautiful bride. Thanks, but I was never in a sorority. Neither was I. That was our sorority. <laughs> Listen up, uh, when you guys open up the wedding gift, uh, don't blame me if you already have one. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Of course I did, and you keep this guy in line, huh? Yeah, okay. Congratulations. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that? He looked familiar. Don't look at me. Why don't you choose Mr. Kapoff? Thank you, certainly. Don't look at me. No, you can look at me. I want you to live it up. Or a six dozen Valencia oranges just for you. <laughs> well, thanks, Dan. Uh, everyone, could I um, have your attention, please? Well, who am I kidding? You're killing me with your attention. <laughs> I'd, um, I'd like to propose a toast. As many of you know, uh, never before has there been such a splendid example of degenerate bachelorhood as I was up until about an hour and a half ago. So naturally, nothing could make me give up this distinction other than an equally splendid example of degenerate womanhood. <laughs> to my wife, 
Long may she wave, long may she break elegant china at my feet, long may I feel the tender touch of her pantyhose in the shower, and long may she live to regret the demonstrable foolhardiness she has flaunted before the eyes of God and men this very day. Cheers. Cheers. I've got a toast, too. Have a seat. It's going to take a second here. I have decided that the name Julia Capwell is not unpleasant to the ear. And like a good wife, and in the interest of thrift, I agree to submit to the very medieval custom of surrendering the name that I was born with. Just so we don't have to change the signs of the office. <laughs> However, in return, I declare unto myself the right to harangue and abuse each and every member of the Cadwell family as if they were my own, which means butting into their business without warning, complaining endlessly about my lot in life, my cross to bear, my incorrigible, unmarriageable marriage partner to anyone with an earshot. And to my husband, long may he wait. Long may he try my nearly non-existent patience. Long may he teach our daughter dirty words of six syllables or more. <laughs> Long may he wander in our living room wearing nothing but his necktie and his briefs. <laughs> reciting, <laughs> you do too, reciting Shakespeare passages that are of your own invention. And long may I adore his every word and his every wart the way that I do today. I love you. Yeah. 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 Thank you all.